In this week in military history, we explore the military career of Brigadier General Benjamin O. Davis Sr., who in January 1941 became the first African American to command a brigade. Benjamin O. Davis Sr. enlisted in the Army in 1898. With strong reading and writing abilities, he was selected as a unit clerk, where he caught the attention of several superiors, including Charles Young, the third African American to graduate from West Point. Young mentored Davis, who later earned a commission in 1901 after passing the officer test. Few opportunities existed for African-American officers during this time, partly because they were not allowed to command white soldiers. Davis was first assigned to the all-black 10th Cavalry Regiment in the Philippines and later as attache in Monrovia, Liberia. He subsequently became professor of military science and tactics at Wilberforce University, a historically black college in Ohio. At the start of World War I, Davis lobbied for an assignment with troops in Europe. However, the Army typically assigned regular Army all-black units far away from the battlefields in Europe. He was assigned to the 9th Cavalry Regiment in the Philippines after a prior stint with them on the Mexican border. Due to his performance throughout his career, he was retained in the Army during the interwar years and promoted to Colonel in 1930. Davis returned to roles as professor of military science and tactics at historically black colleges throughout much of the 1920s and 30s, though he felt those repeated assignments were not reflective of his rank. He also found assignments in the South problematic because of separate but equal laws. Davis eventually became commander of the 369th Infantry Regiment Harlem Hellfighters in 1938, an assignment he sought for many years. Two years later, in October 1940, he became the first African American promoted to Brigadier General in the regular Army, and in this week in January 1941, he took command of the 4th Cavalry Brigade, 2nd Cavalry Division, Fort Riley, Kansas. Davis retired in 1948, six days before President Harry S. Truman signed Executive Order 9981, abolishing racial segregation in the military. Brigadier General Davis is remembered as having paved the way for the future of African-American officers. Join us next time for another segment of This Week in Military History with the Pritzker Military Museum and Library.